ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. In order to change the connecting rod bearings, you will have to lift the front of your vehicle and remove the wheels to gain complete access. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You can then remove the wheel. Don't forget to slide it under the vehicle. You will also need to remove the mod guards. Unscrew the drain nut. Use the wrench to begin with and finish off the process by hand. Be careful on the last few turns, the oil can squirt out immediately. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. So that you can remove the oil pan, you first have to disassemble the front subframe engine cradle. To do this, start by removing the front mod guards so that you can access the screws holding the engine cradle. On the driver's side, using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, remove the two screws and nut which connect the metal plate to the cradle. On the passenger side, unscrew the nut using the same tool. Then, using a socket wrench and an 80mm socket, unscrew the last two screws that hold the cradle. Remove the cradle. To compensate for the weight of the radiator, prepare a wooden wedge to hold it in place. You now have full access to the oil pan. You will have to remove several screws to release it. Start by removing the four screws holding the oil pan to the gearbox using a 30mm socket. Then, remove the two long screws located in the oil pan using an extender and an 8mm socket. Using a 13mm socket, unscrew the screw that links the gimbal frame to the oil pan. Then, remove the screws and the support above the catalyzer with the 13mm spanner. Gain easier access by turning the gimbal. Using a large flathead screwdriver, lever and move the adhesive putty out of the way. With a 10mm socket, unscrew several threads on the transfer screw for the air conditioning compressor so that you will be able to unscrew the second screw. With a flathead screwdriver, Remove the connector to the electronic oil gauge. All you have to do now is unscrew the 18 small screws that hold the oil pan in place using an extender and an 8mm socket. Check that you have completely removed all the screws. The oil pan may be slightly stuck, so don't hesitate to lever it off with a flathead screwdriver. Your oil pan should now be free. Make different back and forth movements to get it out. This might take some time. Once the oil pan has been removed, take out the seal. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. You need to prepare the oil pan to be put back in place. Start by cleaning the inside using paper towels and brake cleaner to remove any residue. Remove the residue from the old seal gasket with fine sandpaper. Then finish off the cleaning with a piece of tissue and penetrating oil. Once it is completely clean, you can put the new seal in place.
Before putting the oil pan in place, you also have to clean the seal gasket on the engine. Once this is done, put the oil pan back, ensuring that you properly position the seal. You may encounter a few difficulties when putting the oil pump intake into the anti-emulsion plastic. This requires several movements. Once the oil pan is in place, screw the 18 holding screws back in with a tightening torque of 14 newton meter. Screw in the four screws against the gearbox with a torque tension of 44 newton meter. Then the two long screws. Finally, those for the gimbal frame are 21 newton meter. Using a flathead screwdriver, unfold the support stand of the catalyzer. Then screw it back at 21 newton meter of tension. Screw back in the two screws of the air conditioning compressor. Then finish by reconnecting the power to the electronic gauge. You can now put the subframe engine cradle back in and then screw it into place. Before starting the vehicle, don't forget to put oil into the engine. You can find a tutorial on the exact quantity of oil recommended for your car in the description. Then you will be able to put the wheel back on your vehicle. Put the car back on the ground and fix the wheels in place correctly. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.